The PV Arts Center offers a wide range of classes. Recently, a Hopi Native American traveled all the way from his reservation in Arizona to teach a class on ceramics and pottery in the classic tradition of his culture. The class took place at Cabrillo Beach in San Pedro. Here's more from Mark J. Dotti. This is pretty neat. For the first time, I get to report this story barefoot because we're here at Cabrillo Beach where the PV Art Center is teaching a class on pottery. It'll take you back in time before the invention of the kiln. My name is Mark Tabo. I'm a Hopitewa Indian, a Native American from um, First Mesa, also known in, as Palaka in Arizona, northeastern part of Arizona. It's a very still conservative, very old village that I come from. And the process that I've learned and do the craft that I have is making Hopitewa pottery. And to bring and to be asked to do this, you know, is something I always talk about being a gift bestowed upon me that it is not mine to hoard or to be selfish with. It's to walk all over life with no matter who I meet to share this gift of creativity that I have to others. And to be here, to have this what's happening here is such a momentous moment in my potting career. With the class, we usually start off with getting ourselves introduced about myself, small first briefly, and then about the clay processes and where the clay comes from, what materials and pigments, everything is used. Basically, everything we found out through the class and through students talking about it is that, you know, it's all organic. Everything is organic down to the paint, down to the last of the firing, which is th used through sheep manure. Sheep tends to burn much hotter. It's, it's one of the most hot, one of the hottest fuel that Native Americans use to cook uh, pottery. So it reaches roughly, we could say maybe here we might touch maybe 900 degrees, you know, somewhere because of, um, of the baldness in, in how much we fire for a class. I normally don't fire this many pieces at home too, so it's a little uh, interesting process for me too to see that, uh, you know, abundance can be put in at once. Everything we do here is what we do at home. There's not nothing that we didn't bring from home that's going to be used today on the beach. Now, this is a this is an example of my um, apprentice uh, Jerome, who has mm -hmm. been apprenticing me, under me for about four years and now. He's back there feeding yeah, the fire. Yeah, right he's now. the one that's attending the mm -hmm. fire right now. But uh, we, as we were getting into what we were going to do and how the firing was going to take place, I said, "Well, why don't you make something that would be appropriate to what we're doing, and it would be a water canteen, maybe possibly in ancient." Times times the native traveled here but the canteens would be much larger of course and they would maybe take water you know from that put it on their backs and then go on their journeys and uh, how have you seen the pottery class that he's taught so far has it been a success do you think you'll do this again next year oh I think it's a home run I, I can't wait to see it grow and and uh, expand for next year when you see the love and care of, of the potter uh, and, and the cultural transfer of knowledge I mean, it's, it's, it's such a unique opportunity for students to, to really understand the, the art form. Uh, and when I watched uh, students make yucca brushes and pull those lines, it's just absolutely amazing. So uh, my wish is that everyone has the, this experience. And then, you know, the added bonus of coming to the beach and firing, doing a pit firing right here on the sand is very, very cool. And if somebody wants to keep up with the PV Art Center and maybe track this class and see when it's coming up next, where do they go? Well, uh, follow our website, watch for the class announcement on our website, and also uh, in our class schedules, which uh, are published uh, uh, four times a year, and they're going to appear in your mailbox, so you're not going to miss it.